for an explanation of how pulsar pumps work, you must see the inventor, Guy Technician's YouTube clip and listen to some of the amazing sounds that his ones produce. This is the remains of my first attempt to build one. This is the bubble separation chamber with the water in, water out and a delivery pipe hole. I was testing it with buckets of water and could not get sufficient flow to make it work. I think I also had a problem with air leaks. This is my second one with the water intake going down to the bubble separation chamber the overflow pipe then comes up here this is the del delivery pipe here again I had a problem with uh, leaking air from my plastic weld joints when this one failed to work I thought Gaia Technician may have been having a laugh at my expense however when I increased the rate at which I poured the buckets through it did indeed work. This then inspired me to upgrade and build my third one down here. This is the Intec pipe I haven't put a filter on um, and excess water will overflow from here. It goes down into the bubble separation chamber the two grey pipes are pushed through the boss almost to the bottom of the four inch drain pipe that has a cap on each end. And then this 15mm copper pipe is the water delivery pipe coming up here. Okay, so here we go, connecting up the water. So there it goes. And that should be coming out there of the overflow. So bubbly water goes down into the bubble separation bubble free water comes out and then somewhere up this pipe I have to warn you I haven't yet uh, tried it up this high yet from the height of our supply pipe we are getting a lift here of six seven, maybe ten feet. And there it is. Admittedly, not a lot of water, but that's a significant lift. There it is. If I reduce the height of the delivery pipe, I will increase the flow rate. In the words of 
a technician, the future of the pulsar pump depends on you. Tell your friends and build one yourself.